Thomas Edison flops, Henry Ford completes his first car, and Apple releases their first consumer product. It all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1848, William Young of Baltimore patented a hand crank ice cream freezer and invented the technique that survives today. It cut the time from hours to minutes and resulted in a uniform and smooth ice cream. And it brought the frozen confection to many more people. Before his invention, making ice cream was a feat of strength. A smaller bowl of cream, milk and sugar was placed in a larger bowl of ice. The ice was salted to make it colder and a servant beat the mixture until his arms gave out. Then another would take over, and another. This week in 1869, at the age of 22, Thomas Edison received a patent for his electric voting machine. At that time, lawmakers voted by simply yelling out yay or nay, and a scribe would tally the votes by hand. Edison hoped to speed up this process with his machine that recorded the ballots of voters with the help of a simple switch and an electric current. This was one of the first patents for Edison, who ended up with a total of 2,332 patents during his lifetime. This was also known as one of his biggest flops, with one lawmaker quoted as saying, if there's one invention on earth we don't want down here, that is it. In 1896 this week, Henry Ford completed the Ford Quadricycle, his first gasoline-powered automobile, and gave it a successful test run. This was Ford's first car and was a simple frame with a gas-powered engine and four bicycle wheels mounted to it. The quadricycle was steered by a tiller handle, had a two-speed transmission, put out a whopping four horsepower, and had a top speed of 20 miles an hour. The original quadricycle still survives today and is housed at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. This week in 1971, the U.S. space probe Mariner 9 blasted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida on a journey to Mars. Mariner 9 arrived at Mars on November 3rd and became the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. Mariner 9 returned photographs of the entire surface of Mars, including some images that revealed what appeared to be riverbeds on the surface, suggesting the presence of water on Mars at some point in the past. And this week in 1977, the Apple II, designed by Steve Wozniak, went on sale. It was one of the first successful mass-produced computers. It was introduced by the two Steves, Jobs and Wozniak, at the West Coast Computer Fair and was the first consumer product sold by Apple. The machine sold for about $1,300, which is the equivalent of about $5,000 today. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Check us out online at intotomorrow.com, where you can get more info on our weekly three-hour radio show, subscribe to our free podcasts, and download the Into Tomorrow app. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.